Guys, what's up? My name's Swords, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Bloodhound like a master. If you haven't already noticed, Bloodhound is one of the strongest legends in Apex Legends right now. Their kit has perfect utility for team play, and with good decision making, can lead to devastating results. Being able to track enemy players with their tracker passive, as well as gain some minor information about a player's past actions, this just might be the legend to help ranked players hunt down their enemy and get some kill points too. Not to mention, they're a really good character for my fellow solo players. I see y'all. I see. With Eye of the Allfather being Bloodhound's strongest ability right now, it can apply strong pressure and presence to the enemy. Plus, it's a heck of an ability because it literally helps your team figure out how to approach a situation. In the right hands of a strong Bloodhound player, no one is completely safe. And just as a reminder, this channel is going to be pumping out plenty of helpful videos for Apex Legends in the next coming weeks. I want to help players improve, break their limits, and reach their goals. If you'd like to be a part of a positive and supportive community, please like and subscribe. It's free, and if you change your mind, you could always unsubscribe later. Also, check out the Discord if you're looking for a teammate, you just want to talk to some chill people, or just hang out. But without further ado, let's get into it and talk about how you can take control of the situation and dominate these ranked games with Bloodhound. The first thing we want to talk about is your playstyle. You, my friend, are a hunter. Your role as Bloodhound varies from situation to situation, but one thing should always remain consistent, knowing the position of enemy players. It is your job to make sure that your team doesn't get surprised by an approaching squad and always stays on the hunter's path. The two skills that are going to help you do that are your passive and tactical ability. With this tracker passive, you're going to see clues left behind by enemy players showing which direction they went in, what they did, and how long ago it happened. If you follow these trails, you're eventually going to find out where the enemy is. And then when you do find the enemy, your ability is going to come in clutch. But the thing with ranked is that it's sometimes an unpredictable place. There might be teams waiting to ambush you, players just might be riding away in not so obvious places, or maybe there's a team just right around the corner you didn't know about them. This is why we have your scan ability. If you scan in front of you, Bloodhound's ability will highlight enemies, traps, clues, and loot ticks within a 125 degree cone in front of you at a maximum of 75 meters. So just to clarify, your scan doesn't do a 360 degree scan. It only scans what's in front of you. Whenever you scan enemies, you're going to want to note the number at top showing how many enemies are within range of your scan. It's a very important number. It's good to know if you're fighting two teams, three teams, or just one squad. Just note that number before you note their position. Also, big tip, scan enemies are only scanned for four seconds. So once you do find your enemies, whew, may the All Father have mercy on them. When you decide to commit to a fight, activate your ultimate Beast of the Hunt ability. This will enable a type of hunter vision that highlights enemies as red, graying out the rest of the world. This makes fighting and seeing enemies a lot easier. Downing enemies in this state can increase your ultimate from five to 15 seconds. Your movement speed is also increased by 30% all around the board, so strafing, sliding, sprinting is pretty crazy during this ability. Don't get too carried away though, because you emit a very noticeable sound that puts a target on you. Generally, use this ability as you engage a fight, and if you can't get much out of it from a fight, look around you to potentially spot other teams so you at least know where other teams are. But that's just the Hunter playstyle. Now let's get to how you can use Bloodhound for your ranked games. So let's get into the early game tips first. For the early game, like I suggested in my other videos, I recommend landing somewhere quiet and far away. But whenever you land, you should always scan the area first because enemy teams sometimes land with you without you noticing. That initial scan could give you an advantage on a potential early game fight. While you're looting, also look out for ultimate accelerants. Seriously, you should really be using these. Bloodhound's ultimate is goaded in ranked. I'll get even deeper into how, how to use this ultimate effectively later. But for now, just be sure to charge your Bloodhound's ultimate whenever you can. And if you land next to a charge station, even better. I'd feel so sorry for the poor team that comes across you. Early game already with your ultimate. Another thing you're going to want to do is if you land in an area with a survey beacon, definitely go and scan that. Some people forget Bloodhound can do this, but, but the best Bloodhound players always use these survey beacons to find out where the next ring is. This practice is vital in being successful for your ranked games, so don't forget about these if you ever come across them. Scanning survey beacons lets you know where the next ring is going to be, helps you get prepared on your rotations, it just helps you be at the right place at the right time, so do it. Though when you're scanning survey beacons, definitely be cautious. You're an easy target for snipers, so if you have a Gibby on your team, ask them to throw a dome on you when you scan a beacon. If you manage to find out where the next ring is, start working on your rotation, keep an eye out for teams. This leads us into the mid game. As you get into the mid game, you're going to want to find the enemy. 
This doesn't always mean attack the enemy, it just means to find them. Assess the situation, make a decision on whether to attack or find a better position, and then act on it. But in my opinion, most of the time you're going to want to attempt a clean third party with Bloodhound or surprise an unsuspecting or unprepared team. Use Bloodhound's passive to follow the trail of clues left behind by other players so that you can find these teams. Usually, you're going to find players either looting or battling it out. These are two key scenarios because if the enemy is unprepared for your attack, you pretty much have the advantage on them. A surprise attack is always the best. What I would say is before you activate your ultimate, scan away the area so that you and your team can briefly assess the situation and gather as much information as possible and then decide what you want to do. Sometimes you end up finding caustic teams marked up in buildings. Those are usually fights you really don't want to take and probably isn't worth your time. Avoid those. We're trying to get positive RP here. So you want to take those easy fights. Don't worry about those caustic teams marked up in buildings. You'll get your fight with them eventually. Get the easy points first. You are Bloodhound, you will find other teams. Take the easy fights and then deal with the difficult ones in the late game. When you eventually find that team that you know you have the advantage on, you're definitely going to want to activate your Beast of the Hunter ability. Now once it's activated, you're going to feel like a boss. We all do. But that doesn't mean you're invincible. Remember that you're in a ranked game and that you should still proceed with caution. It's very easy to put yourself in a bad situation as Bloodhound during this ultimate ability because you move so fast and you stand out. During this state, you are a threat, so people are going to target you. Just be wary of that. But remember, you can always use your hunter vision to see all the people within your vision. It's especially good at shooting targets within smoke, such as caustic gas or Bangalore smoke. Just keep that in mind. Before engaging to a battle, you're going to want to scan. Getting that initial information about where the enemy is will help you a lot. And if you didn't already know, Bloodhound's scan ability is reduced to 5 seconds during their ultimate ability, allowing you to scan multiple times within a fight. I have to warn you though, there is a little visible ring that emits from each scan, so players can kind of measure their distance between you. But let's be honest here, keep abusing that scan cooldown. It's going to help you get some easy RP, or at the very least, keep you aware of enemy positions. Probably one of the most useful things in using this scan ability is peak advantage. Being able to see the outline of your opponent is going to help you win a lot of fights if you get that first shot at. So you're going to want to aim down your sights around corners, doorways, walls. That way they end up walking into your sight lines. Once they step into your sight lines, just light them up. Beam them and bring them down as low as possible. And then that will be your opening to moving in. Even if you don't get the down, as long as you scan them and your teammate downs them, you still get the assist as long as they down them within 15 seconds, which adds on to your RP. Now, sometimes a fight may not go so smoothly. Your teammates might go down and if you can't save them, you might just have to leave them. So another way you can use Bloodhound's open ability is if you need to escape. It's always better to be the last survivor and run away if you know you can't win. Nobody wants to lose RP. We want you to gain RP. So hold on to the points that you have. If you have to run away and you still have Beast of the Hunter active, use the ability to escape and get as much distance as you can from the enemy. Or heck, maybe you haven't even used it before and then you can just pop it. It's just a really good tool that you can use to increase your mobility. I've managed to escape so many times with this ability, it's insane how helpful it is in a variety of situations. Heck, the ultimate is not even so bad for 1v3ing teams thanks to the movement, but I don't recommend that unless you're feeling super cracked. Aside from Bloodhound's ultimate, another thing you're going to want to do is to continue using survey beacons to find the best position in the ring. Don't forget about this ability. It is more important as the game goes on. Getting into position is going to be vital in ranked it's going to be so vital so key there are so many teams running around that have no idea where the next ring is so if you are bloodhound please scan these survey beacons i am i'm telling you you're going to get some points if you are in the right position when that ring starts closing in on you plus the scan is going to be so helpful if you're already in the place that you need to be in teams are going to be moving into you allowing you to know where everybody is now once you set up in zone you find yourself a good spot with you and your team or maybe you're just by yourself your scan ability is going to be so strong. Scan in the end game can reveal players ratting away, which is easy points. You should totally take those fights if you can get away with it. You're much more likely to find sneaky players in this state of the game. Believe me, a ratting player does not want to get Bloodhound scanned. Be sure to check trees and off areas players could potentially be hiding in those later zones. I call that rat check. The main thing your scan applies in these end games is presence and awareness. I recommend bunkering down by cover or in a building somewhere if you can. Simply being scanned is enough to force players sometimes not to push you and to hold their position. I had a game once where I was stuck in a building by myself 
and I just kept scanning other teams and to my surprise, nobody pushed me. In fact, they tried getting out of my scan range. People just don't like feeling exposed from a scan, so keep that in mind. You're going to want to start saving your ultimate ability for the final ring though. So for that crazy final fight in the end, make sure you at least have your ability up. It's going to help you out a lot with the additional movement speed and hunter vision and in all that madness. Now let's talk about some of the cons of Bloodhound because that's pretty important. I would say one of Bloodhound's biggest cons is that you're an easy target. And what do I mean by that? I basically mean that your scan ability notifies pretty much everybody where you are and in what direction you're in, how far you are. You know, practically anybody can tell how far away a Bloodhound is when they initiate their scan. Your ultimate ability also makes a very loud sound that gets louder the closer you are to somebody so people can tell when you're right behind them if you're approaching and as soon as you activate the ability it also makes a very loud sound so be careful of that another thing is that when you're actually in a fight outside of additional movement and hunter vision you don't have too much to contribute to a fight all you really have is the is the additional movement speed and the information at your disposal without any real combat abilities you're pretty much just relying on your own individual mechanical skill with the weapons that you're using and your teammates if you practice these tips and apply them during each state of the game, you're going to notice that you're going to start gaining more and more RP as time goes on and your mastery of the character is going to go on. So go out there and play Bloodhound. Play as much of Bloodhound as you can. They're like so good right now. So, so strong. I encourage all of you guys to take advantage of Bloodhound right now. The scan ability is very good at the top metas of this game right now. So hop in on the hype now because it may not always be like this. Y'all are some dedicated and really committed players. I know you guys want to improve. Just keep at it. I believe in you. And that's how you play Bloodhound in Ranked. For those of you that vibe with my channel and content, please come by my Twitch streams. There's so many awesome people that watch my videos and I want to meet y'all. I interact with my viewers, try my best to read and respond to every single message, and I put on a heck of a stream. I'd love to do this full time and your support would mean so much to me. Let me know in the comments below if these tips improved your Bloodhound plays in Ranked. Take it easy and peace out.